If there's one thing you should stop doing immediately in your morning routine, it's checking your phone the moment you wake up. The first 60, 120 minutes of your day set the tone for your entire neurochemical landscape. And starting with phone, scrolling disrupts key biological processes that govern focus, stress, and motivation. When you wake, your brain transitions from a high melatonin, low cortisol state into the natural cortisol peak that should occur early in the day. This cortisol pulse is not a stress aid. It's a healthy biological signal that enhances alertness and primes your system for movement, learning, and goal-directed behavior. But when you grab your phone immediately, you create an artificial spike in dopamine delivered through bright screens, notifications, and rapid information switching. This combination, unnatural dopamine before cortisol has its natural rise, makes your brain dependent on external stimulation for wakefulness. Over time, this reduces your ability to feel naturally alert in the morning and increases your baseline anxiety and distractibility throughout the day. You are essentially training your nervous system to seek reactive behavior rather than purposeful action. Instead, allow your brain and body to wake up through natural sensory inputs. Light exposure, preferably sunlight within the first hour of waking, drives healthy increases in cortisol, raises core body temperature, and sets your circadian clock. This boosts mood, improves sleep that night, and stabilizes your dopamine system. Pair that with a few minutes of physical movement, hydration, and deliberate breathing to regulate your autonomic nervous system. These practices support the neuromodulators dopamine, norepinephrine, acetylcholine, responsible for sustained focus and motivation. Only after these processes settle should you introduce digital stimuli. So you engage with them from a place of intentionality rather than reactivity.